Did you know that you have two hearts working in your body right now? One of them in your chest and the other in your legs. It's called the calf muscle pump. And it's often referred to as a second heart. Many people have no idea how important this is, but once you understand what it does and how to activate it, you'll never, ever look at your legs the same way again. The soleus and gastrocnemius muscles are in our calves. The outside muscle is the gastrocnemius. Underneath is called the soleus. And it's not just designed to help you walk. They actually help blood pump back up to the heart. Your heart sends oxygen-rich blood downward to your lower body, but then gravity pulls that blood downward, making it difficult to return upward again, especially from the feet and legs. And this is where the second heart steps in. Every time you contract your calf muscles, that's what we're going to do. Particularly with movements like toe raises and heel lifts, you're literally pushing blood flow upward through one-way venous valves, helping to move that deoxygenated blood and waste materials back to the heart and lungs. These valves open and close in response to muscle contraction. Like little doors that only allow blood to move upwards, when the calf muscles are inactive, blood will stagnate. It will pull downwards. Gravity will bring it down. But when they contract, they squeeze the veins like pumps, pushing that fluid past each valve, one level at a time, all the way back up to the heart. And without this, pressure builds up in the veins, leading to swelling, heaviness, pain, venous reflux in some cases, as well as varicose veins. And these contractions, also compress the lymphatic vessels in your legs, promoting lymph drainage, reducing that extra fluid retention that you may be occurring or having in your calves, your ankles, or your feet. This boosts your immune system. This is why calf pumps are so important for anyone dealing with varicose veins, swollen ankles, cold feet, heavy legs, or poor lower body circulation. When this pump is weak or underused, Often from sitting too long, we're on our computer, we're on our smartphone, we spend so many hours sitting, driving. This causes a significant problem. The blood and fluid pull in the lower legs. And over time, this can lead to chronic venous insufficiency, spider veins, blood clots, and high-risk individuals. And it can also contribute to orthostatic hypotension. And what is that? That's a sudden drop in blood pressure when you stand up too quickly. You ever get up in the morning and get right up, or you're sitting down, you get right up, ooh, you feel like you're gonna fall over? That lightheadedness, that dizziness? Well, guess what? A stronger calf pump helps regulate this change. It improves stability. But with this one simple exercise, which I'm just about to show you, you will begin reversing that stagnation. And all you need to do is stand up straight, preferably next to a wall so you don't fall back. I prefer you hold on to something in front of you like a chair, but a wall is okay or a chair. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come up on your toes. Your heels are going to rise. You're going to hold three seconds. Come back down, go back on your heels, rock back three seconds. After that, come back, rock forward up on your toes, three seconds. Then you come back down, go back on your heels, three seconds. You get the jut, what you're doing here. It's a rocking motion, one full cycle, and it takes about six seconds per rep, repeating this movement for 15 to 20 repetitions. You're gonna to wanna to do it two to three sets, at least once a day. And I understand not everyone can stand up and do these exercises. You might have an injury to your leg. You may have problems walking. You may have other conditions going on. You may have balance problems. Sit down, it's okay. You're gonna get the benefits. On your toes, three seconds, and you'll rock back to your heels, three seconds. You can put your hands on your calves and feel how they contract. You're pumping the blood back up to the heart. You're getting rid of the swelling. You're increasing circulation. This second heart is a miracle for your body. And I want you to start doing these exercises. And what makes this even more fascinating is how the soleus muscle, the deeper, flatter muscle beneath your calf, works independently to help regulate not just blood flow, but blood sugar as well. 
Research shows that soleus contractions can pull glucose out of the bloodstream without relying on insulin using a mechanism called non-insulin mediated glucose uptake. That means that one move can help those dealing with insulin resistance, pre-diabetes, type 2 diabetes, type 1 diabetes, regardless of what diabetes it is. It's a powerful way to stabilize blood sugar without supplements or medications. These benefits don't stop there. This rhythmic movement Coming back three seconds, up three seconds, back three seconds. It stimulates barrel receptors, pressure sensors in your vessels that help regulate blood pressure and heart rate variability. The result is a better nervous system regulation, less stress on your cardiovascular system, and even enhanced brain oxygenation. You're increasing oxygen, not just to your heart, but to your brain, you're increasing cerebral blood flow, which can lead to sharper focus, more energy, less brain fog. And this is also why leg movements have been shown to influence cerebral vascular autoregulation, the brain's ability to maintain stable blood flow despite changes in posture or blood pressure. And because you're engaging in large postural muscles, you're also improving your core. Yes, you are. Because you're stabilizing yourself, or you're going to fall forward. The core is going to get stronger. It's going to help you with better balance, especially when it's done mindfully and supported. You're moving fluid upwards, helping the kidneys filter better as well. The lymph nodes drain waste more efficiently, and your organs receive more oxygen. It's a win-win situation. This simple move taps into so many physiological systems that it's shocking more people aren't doing it right now. And whether you sit at a desk on your computer all day, stand at a counter, even brushing your teeth, or recovering from an illness, or just you want to improve your circulation and vitality, which I recommend everyone should do, this is something you can do safely and effectively in less than five minutes a day. Just remember, go slow. Steady rhythm is the key. Work your way up, holding each toe and heel position for three seconds. Make sure you're supported and stay relaxed in your breath. You'll feel these muscles activate, the legs warm up, and over time, you'll notice real changes. Less swelling, lighter legs, less pain, warmer toes, clearer thinking, better energy. You're not just working your calves. You're training your second heart to do this job. And that affects every system in the body. So the next time you think about circulation or brain fog or swelling in your legs, don't forget this one move. It's simple, safe, and it's free. And most important, it works. And I want you to remember one thing. The body doesn't need fixing. It just needs reminding. And it all starts from the ground up with the second heart. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends and family. Leave your comments below. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.